All right, sorry for the interruption there, folks, but we are back online. Sir Spud is here on the mic for you guys, and we are going to go in with Sorry Tag versus Fumu. We're going to change the names here in a second, but right now, Sorry Tag versus Fumu. Mewtwo versus KFC. The genetically modified organism versus the fire chicken. <laughs> Fumu able to close it there with the CA, guessing correctly on the homing attack. And we see some actually great tech there that I was just about to bring up with Fumu. Say, uh, KFC does not have a traditional low stance, so you cannot duck under Mewtwo's neutral A as well as Hyper Beam you saw there. But he can 2x underneath it because that puts him in a low state. So you saw him, uh, you saw it work well, and then you saw it work not as well. So, kind of two sides of the spectrum. They missed timing the meaty there, but able to cover it with the barrier, which is a confusion. Togekiss making him fast, missed timing the meaty there, and Fumu able to burst out of it. And guess correctly, tries for the grab to end the round, but goes for the up, uh, upper body invulnerability of his 8x. I believe that's his 8x, or his 8y. Tries for the top two. Not able to get it. Stuffs up at the homing attack of it. Fair and balanced homing attack of Mewtwo. That was actually the punishable one. Sorry, Tag able to punish accordingly. See, so Fumo getting caught pressing a lot of buttons. Not able to punish the confusion, but it is able to punish the CA attempt. Full conversion there. Fumo has a ton of recoverable health. He can get right back in this game if he wins this field phase. And he's able to clash, which is going to build his synergy meter, which gets him a good chunk of health back. If I was Fumu, I wouldn't try for the Tatsu and the Mewtwo uh, not really doing much of a setup game. He's trying to try to catch a guess with the Tatsu, but Tatsu is very slow. Doesn't have much burst left, he decides to throw it out, but better, better late than never. Has two buffs on him. Oh, that was close. Fumo almost got hyper mean. But now he's just going to get dive kick. We're going to go round number three, game no more here. Sorry, Tag versus Fumu. Fumu playing pretty cautiously. This one going, tries to go for the hard read there with the flare blitz. Sorry, Tag miss spacing the grab attempt. Can't be able to red armor through it. And he's gonna punish. He does accordingly. A nice job there by uh, Sorry Tag anticipating he's gonna go for the 2x. Fumu doing a great job here with the punch. Sorry Tag is going for those unsafe 6x, the little dab move. Uh, but he's able to punish accordingly, and I expect to see a burst here. Uh, and the meaty coming out. So Sorry Tag bringing this all the way back. So Fumu was in a great position to win this match for now. It's anybody's game here. Oh, is this going to catch? It does catch. And Fumu is going to take it. He's going to go up one bit. He's going to Fumu take game number one here against Sorry Tag. We'll see if we see a switch from Sorry Tag at all, or he's going to stick with Mewtwo. He does play a few different characters, so. We'll see who he goes with, and he's just going to stick with the Mewtwo. Didn't have to wait for very long. I was trying to build a little bit of tension, but it didn't happen. And we are at Thalia Beach. Which traditionally, I believe, was Empoleon stage. But the more you look at it, I feel like this is Garchomp stage. Mainly just because he can dig underneath it, and it makes sense. He's actually digging in the sand like a little land shark that he is. Fumu trying to get the hard call out, but is not able to get it. Holding that PA a little bit longer for him to be safe. I kind of like uh, Fumu's approach here. He's trying to block a little bit more of those neutral A's. Trying not to get caught in a, uh, a situation where he gets punished for trying to 2x underneath those. So he can kind of take the chip damage. Uh, so he doesn't get caught in a compromising position. And I agree with it. 
dash up something and say, Boom Boom, they're going to doing the exact right thing after Sorry Tag is Oh, good to grab. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Great job there by Fumu. Uh, but like I was saying, after Sorry Tag goes in for the homing attack, uh, he likes to go into the dash of guess situation. He's gonna 6x you, he's gonna 8y, he's gonna 2y, or he's gonna grab. So, or even counter attack. Fumu doing a great job of like, I'm not having any of it, and just back dashes immediately out there. I like it. So, I like this too. Sorry Tag punishing the punishable flare blitz in single hit. Great job there by Fumu. Or, excuse me, sorry, Tag able to punish that. Uh, I think he's a little too high. He's gonna get attack out of it. He's gonna get some full wall conversion. Not the optimal combo, but it's something. Grab backs. The bank is open, boys. Trying for the medium side Y. He's able to get the CA for his trouble. Single hit again. Fumu just going for broke on a lot of these. Going for the enhanced version. Not able to check out of it was pressing a button actually. Never jump against me too, ladies and gentlemen. In a defensive situation, just don't jump. Sorry, it's like winning the opening field phase with a grab. Kumo able to jump over it, but not able to confirm. Tries to set the overheat. Eevee coming out. Save the uh, neutral fire punch working out there for sorry attack. Once again, just the punchable uh the punchable flare blades are yeah. I'm not seeing a lot of uh need for those, but I like it. Sorry attack going in. See what the setup YouTube like to do, they like to scare you. And go for the first activation after the single hit of homing attack. So sorry to take you game number two here. We are off to game number three. So it's a very common setup you'll see from a lot of Mewtwo's, uh, especially see it when uh, Mewtwo's run Togekiss. They like kind of shimmy around and scare you a little bit, and then go in for the homing attack, do the single attack of homing, and go straight into first. Because uh, you have to act immediately. You have to act immediately out of the home the first hit of the homing attack and not get caught by that. And you most likely you're gonna have to jump. So the only thing you can do is jump in that situation. So if you guess right, you'll get hit by the burst. If you guess wrong, you're gonna get hit with the full homing. So whatever situation you're in is the right call. So off to game number three. Boo losing. Durability match between the neutral A's. Got a good punish there by Fubu, but going for the enhancement again. See, he's been punished three or four times now on this. I would like to see kind of the switch. The game I want Fubu is playing a little bit more patient, kind of waiting for his opportunity to question. I want to see him kind of go more into that. Now he's trying to make. Uh, sorry, to press buttons and make him whiff and make him, or like make him guess correctly. I understand that he like Fumu needed to react to something like that, but I kind of want to see, take a moment, slow down, stay in shield, play a little bit more defensively, a little bit more reactionary. Because right now, sorry tag, sorry tag with Mewtwo is going to be a lot of guessing options against KFC. Uh, his buttons are just inherently better for maybe different scenarios, so you kind of have to pick your spots when you're going to go in, especially with the way you It's going to be a lot of damage, so it's a good place to start here for Kuma. Ends it with the shore you can. Trying to close, or trying to get the face shift grab, but he's going to do it. Uh, sorry, Tech going for the needy grab, and going to grab him out of the burst activation. Taking control of his match again. And now he has Burst and Togekiss full resources. Fumu has got to make the right calls here. There's a start, there's one read. There's another read, does a lot of damage. But jumps in with the on the fire punch attempt. Stay that's the second time tonight. Sorry, Tiger closed out a best of three series with the fire punch.